Hi! So I live in Southampton now, again, which is very different to the last time you saw me. So as is life, circumstances, so... Okay. I've been on the longest break from you guys and I have forgotten how to even talk to a camera and I, I don't really know where to start. So I live in a studio flat um, and as studio flats go this place is quite big. Um, if you google um, studio flats, not looking at the ones that are like New York, London-esque kind of things, um, you know very fa fancy posh, I'm talking like top notch bed right next to the oven kind of studio. Um, thankfully I don't have that. Um, most studio flats are literally the size of a large bedroom and that's got your kitchen and everything in it. Um, whereas mine is more like the size of two bedrooms put together. Um, it's a studio so it's all open plan. This is my sofa, literally behind you guys is my oven. Um, and then just over there is my bed. And it's really lovely. I'll maybe, if you like, I can, um, I've got like a 360 degree camera now, which is really, really cool. Um, but I haven't had the confidence to use it yet. I've taken a few photos, but I'm always scared to take it out with me because it takes a little while to set up. It's this new technology thing. I'm new to it. The world is new to it. And everyone looks and stares when you set it up. So... I will maybe do a 360 video one day, um, not really sure how to do that yet, but there are YouTube videos that will teach me how to, um, and you can see what I look at basically, which would be quite cool, because normally you just see one view of a room, and it'd be cool to see everything. So yeah, I live, live in a studio flat, I'm back in Southampton now, I am much happier for it. So, I live by myself, yay, uh, oh. so as many of you were aware, if you've seen my videos before, I was going through a lot last year, um, these videos were just getting less and less, I was getting more and more miserable, I had a breakdown on camera and I showed it to the world and I did it to try and kind of use it as a way of kind of expressing myself. I don't I don't really have close family. I've got family who I don't even know where they live. So, you know, the only thing I have to talk to is sometimes you guys and I know that a lot of you can relate to that. So, I like to think that we can share a lot. Yeah, I was going through so much and I'm still going through a lot now. I'm struggling with a diagnosis of a condition that no, no one seems to get, um, I've been going through many hospital visits, I've had MRI scans, um, I've been dealing with issues where I had an MRI on the 1st of August and I didn't get the results until like two weeks ago and we're halfway through November, um, and I say I got the results through, the results were that there was nothing for them to give me um, and there's no notes to go with my MRI so even though I've moved in the process it's you know there's no reason why any notes should go missing and it's getting to the point now where I am literally losing my mind for the last couple of years I've been trying to deal with something that I don't know what it is if I can just put a name to something then I can find a group that I can relate to I can try and find ways to help myself but at the minute I'm dealing with a lot of stuff and a lot of issues that I've had and is the reason that it's put me here by myself again is where I wasn't being believed by people um, I had people who were meant to love and care for me basically tell me that I was making it up um, being left in pain because they thought I was making it up and so you know when you when you don't have someone a doctor who trusts in you to kind of say right this this is what it is then you know you can tell other people and you can kind of be like 
you know, I told you so, this isn't just nothing. Um, there are many things that I've been told my condition could be, um, and various different doctors will say various different things. Um, I once went to a doctor and said, you know, I think this could be where my issues have come from. I know that the world tells you don't Google your issues, but when no one's helping you find what those issues are, Google is the only place you can go. And I've said things and they've not even considered it or asked why they've just got no, no, you don't have that, you're too young, um, which doesn't exist. There's no such thing as being too young for anything. We should all be educated enough to know that now. Um, but more recently, since moving to Southampton, the doctors here just seem to be so much better. And I think because they are a lot younger as well, and these are university hospitals, there are a lot of conditions that maybe weren't in textbooks, however, 30, 40 years ago, but they are now, and you know, that there's more research going into medical stuff. Um, and I'm sick to death of hearing from people, oh, back in my day, we didn't have that. Well, back in your day, People just suffered. People like me had issues with trying to explain to people what's going on with them and not actually knowing themselves what's going on. And it's just, you know, so thankfully the younger doctors have actually been so much more helpful. Um, and I'm starting to feel like I'm getting somewhere. I have to wait until March to see another specialist doctor. Um, and it's just a long, slow process but I'm sure I'm not the only one who's gone through this. I'm sure there are many of you watching going, oh my God, I remember that, or yeah, I'm going through that right now. So I'm hoping to get back on track. Originally, I was gonna disappear from you guys and then do this really cool comeback and be like, I've discovered everything now and I'm learning how to be good to my body so that my body can be good for me and it's just not happening and I am going insane not being able to interact with you because as I said earlier it's like my way of talking because I don't really have that support group anymore especially since um, kind of a year or two ago I had quite a few um, close friends who lived in London but then I had someone in my ear saying don't go to London because of this and because of that and don't do this and don't do that and so I didn't and so I lost all my friends and so that you know that really important friendship group that I used to have has now gone because if someone stopped seeing you or you stopped seeing them you eventually drift apart and I've tried mending those relationships I've attempted to reach out to those people um, quite a few times to the point where it's actually kind of embarrassing for me to be rejected so many times so now I'm just accepting that you know these new friends that I'm making in Southampton um, are what I should focus my energy on. I want the next two months to be planning for next year in terms of videos. I want to set up a schedule where we do talky stuff like this which is for people who want to you know keep following my channel and then um, I want the more help and advice stuff because there are a lot of people who come to this channel um, only looking for that and I don't want them to have to go through all this chatty stuff um, because that's not what they're here for. Um, but you guys are here for that, maybe. I feel like I've said enough. Um, I'm here, studio flat, back in Southampton. Um, where this pretty much all began. There are a few videos pre-Southampton that we don't talk about. <laughs> Back when I was like 16, still in school, yay! And then came here to uni, so... Some of the people from, from the uni days, videos, we may come across again. Um, some of them still live here, some of them have disappeared across the country again. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about videos for next year that I can maybe schedule in because it's it's been a while and it's going to take me a long time to get back into this and the more you guys interact, the more kind of motivated I feel and trust me, the motivation is at 0.05%. It really needs to go up. This video. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, 
Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.